Welcome to Devere East Asia. I'm looking for some seriously motivated people to come in, join our ecosystem and add value straight away. If you think you're the kind of person that can come in to our organisation and add some value and you're highly motivated, I'd love to hear from you. We're looking for people like you in Tokyo, in Hong Kong, in Shanghai, in Beijing, in Shenzhen. Hong is such a fantastic and unusual city because it's a huge Asian city. It's very easy as a Westerner to live here. It's described as East meets West. Oh, anyone who hasn't been to Hong Kong, Hong Kong is a very diverse, very uh, multicultural city. I guess one thing that people might not know is English is widely spoken here. So if you don't speak the local language, it's not like a scary place uh, to go. Also, Hong Kong is a good uh, introduction to Asia, I think, uh, in general. Uh, Hong Kong, vastly different to living in the UK or maybe even in the Middle East or other places. It's probably slightly surprising to a lot of people that there's a big beach culture, outdoor culture here. A lot of concrete, but a lot of, a lot of countryside as well. So lifestyle is, is very much one of um, intense work, but then a lot of exercise and outdoor activity at the weekend. Shanghai is really like a growing utopia. If you are a city person, like me, I'm a city person. I grew up in a city, I love the city. This is the city, you know, it's very dynamic. You know, even though it's in China, I think it's still this disconnect. There are so many different dynamics of nationalities, different languages being spoken. So yes, you can get around without speaking, you know, Mandarin or just having the bare minimal. The quality of life is cheaper than what you would pay for like a New York or a Paris but it's a lot more fun, it's a lot more attainable, and it's so much more opportunity because, you know, it's just, it's happening so fast. The Shanghai office is um, made up of lots of different characters, a good, friendly team. They're from every nationality under the sun. It works, it's a good place to be. And no one person feels that they're over and above or more important than anybody else and in, in the open plan office we work as a team. Uh, we have in-house training, Doug gives us terrific uh, training sessions on a regular basis. And then of course we have the life companies that come in, Providence, RL360, um, and they give us training as well. So we're getting it from both angles, but the Devere in-house training, superb. So I found it that Shanghai now became my home. I just can't imagine moving back to Europe just grew up, so, grew so much on me that at this point, like, it is my home. Living and working in Tokyo is, is crazy, and it doesn't matter what time of day it is, you'll always find 100 people on the train. Uh, it really is the hustle and bustle of the city, which I really, really, really love. We're in one of the biggest cities in the world, and Tokyo at the moment is happening. Um, the Rugby World Cup in, in September, as well as the Olympics, there's never really been a better time to be in Tokyo. The culture, I grew accustomed to it very quick, because it's very entrepreneurial. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's you produce your own results, and you can go about it in your own way. And I think that freedom is, is good. If I'm honest, the language barrier wasn't that big a problem. Uh, Japanese people are so helpful that even if they don't really understand English, they'll try their best to even help you. The fact that we all uh, mostly work with expats as well is a big help, knowing that their first language is using English, and it's nice to talk to an English person or so often. The team here in Tokyo can give a newcomer an assurance that we can be really supportive, not just on the work level, but also for like personal level as well. If those things are interesting to you, please let us know.